do to help? Well once you notice that this is a problem you really need to have the child uh, screened to see whether uh, it, it is their problem and the best way to do that is to get in touch with uh, an Erlen Dyslexia Centre and, uh, and ask them to send you a questionnaire form and then you'll be able to get a very good idea as to whether this is likely to be helped by colour filtering. Then you need to uh, attend such a centre and have the appropriate tint chosen for your child because the tint is different for every child, the darkness or density of the tint is different for every child and mind you this applies to adults as well as to children uh, so it has to be professionally done. Okay, well op optometrists do tints themselves. Um, can I just get an, a tint from an optometrist on my glasses and will that work the same way? It is true that opto optometrists do uh, tinting and optical dispensers do tinting, but um, uh, they are not trained to do this kind of tinting. Uh, <clears throat> for example, um, uh, many of the light tints that they use would be quite ineffective. It may be that by accident they would come across a tint that was just exactly right for a person, but it would be by accident because they do not have, unless they're trained, they do not have a disciplined method of discovering exactly where the problems lie and then exactly to what extent is this tint or that tint going to help with the problem. And sometimes we have to multiply the number of tints and put one on top of the other and then mix them all together in order to get the best possible result. And for many people the best possible result is finally achieved by a very tiny change in the tint. So you need to go to a person who is properly trained by the Erlen Institute worldwide to do this particular procedure. Okay, fantastic. So in answer to that question, really, you can't just go to an optometrist to, to get this testing done. That is, that is quite right, you can't. Some optometrists will tell you that they can do it. You need to ask them, could I see your certificate of qualification from the Erlen Institute? Is it, is it a quick fix? Can I just buy these glasses and then all of a sudden the child can read or...? Well, <clears throat> that depends. Many people with dyslexia have more than one component to their dyslexia. If you are one of those fortunate 20% of dyslexics for whom Erlen syndrome is the only problem that is stopping you from reading, then once you have these lenses and they work properly, you should be able to make normal progress in reading. So if we choose the right people, research has shown us that within just a few months, so three to six months, uh, reading can build up virtually to grade level and, uh, and the person can progress at a normal rate from there on. But if you, uh, say, are much older and uh, you have other problems as well, you will need remedial teaching as well as your Erlen lenses. But the difference is that you will be able to make use of the remedial teaching in a way that you, you were not previously able to make use of it. Okay, fantastic. Now, clearly a person that just gets the glasses, they, they've obviously had a lot, of, a lot of time where they haven't been able to read. Can that be a, a factor in, in them starting to, to read properly? Yes, it can. Um, for example, a, a child who has had 10 years of trying to work out words, which is what dyslexia reduces you to, a child who's had 10 years of trying to work out words has now uh, assumed and, and become convinced that reading is about working out words. So if you now are a person for whom Erlen syndrome has been the problem and we put the right lenses on you and now everything is clear and you're relaxed and you're not getting headaches and you can read for a long period of time, you will go on out of sheer habit working out what's that word, what's that word, what's that word, what's that word, whereas really you should be thinking what is this all about? What is this story about? What is this book about? And we have to teach that skill now because you've got into the habit of just working out one word after another and when you've finished, you've worked out all the words but you've never given a thought to what's it all about. So those kinds of bad habits can result from just good teaching which didn't work okay. and needs to be changed. Okay, fantastic. Paul, thank you very much for your time today. If you're looking for more information on this or any other literacy condition, please visit our website at readhelp.com.au. Thanks for your time.